After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. The behaviors that can actually drive a person to a site cell may be somebody comes in the facility who is on drugs, who is highly combative, verbally disrespecting staff or other inmates, maybe this inciting other inmates to a fight, who isolate them, maybe they can cool down and maybe think about their behavior. Why are you yelling? What yeah, is going on? Here we are. I'm walking. Oh, what's, oh, what's going on, man? Why are you yelling, man? Sir, why are you yelling? Don't grab my hand. Sir, sir. I'm not talking to you here. It really hurt my wrist. Okay. Uh, whatever, I, I'll find out what's going on yeah, sometime, switch, dude. Switch, 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 switch. It's not good, obviously. <laughs> oh. What's going on? Walk for us. Why are you guys manhandling me? Walk. What? I'm walking, I'm walking. Where do you want to walk? Oh! What can I do? Oh! 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 oh. oh what's going on? Something's not right. I'm sorry, I did. We're going to leave you in here until you cool down, OK? OK. I'm Once you cool calm. down, we take these handcuffs off. And Feel you're not a threat to us, okay? Yes, sir. Stay there till the door closes. Yes, sir. Oh, no. We were out in the pre-arrest, and we just started screaming. We did talk to medical police. They said that he's possibly on meth or something. Something, okay. All right, we'll keep an eye on him. All right, thank you. Hey, ready to depart. Oh, God, really? Yep. Uh, I'm sorry. You can just ask instead of forcing me. You can say, hey, you do, do you anything? mind spreading your feet apart? And I would have done it instead of you having to physically force me to do it. What do you it. have in your mouth? Chewing tobacco, which is not allowed in a jail, but it's still in my mouth. So if you want to take it out, ma'am, I can't. Why can't you take it out yourself? Well, I could spit it around. Minnesota Department of Health, cover your cough. Uh, I grew up in Minnesota. So again, so I called in the Sultan by here, my here, roommates. And here I am in change. Glasses. You good? Yeah, just so you like still spreading? Yes. So you got assaulted by your roommates? Yes, sir. What happened? So my roommate assaulted me. His name's Harry. He's uh, um, 75 years old. It's Turn a around, crack Harry. meth house. And uh, I got arrested and I called the cops because I got assaulted and they busted me for less than a half a gram of marijuana. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, you don't have to grab me that hard, so you can just ask me where I need to walk. Less than a half an ounce of weed, and I called the cops and said my roommate was assaulting me. That's why I'm here. Have a seat. Sit down. Let's go. Look at how this guy's squeezing my hands. Do Turn what we around. tell you to do. I need to stop talking. Yes, I need to stop talking. You're gonna stay in here in these handcuffs until you show us that you can calm down. Guys, leave. Stay there. Door closes. Okay. Are you kidding me? Go yourselves. He was complaining to the arresting officer about what's going on. Let's let him pull out for a bit and come back and see how he's doing. Can you tell me a little bit about William, how he came in? Well, we were dispatched to his house, and uh, it was involving a family disturbance mm -hmm. between roommates, mm -hmm. a lot of drinking going on. He was making accusations that somebody pulled his hoodie. Mm -hmm. All the other three roommates said, no, nothing happened. It was just verbal. No one touched anyone. OK. So that was the whole call, why it was called. He said somebody actually assaulted, battered him. He searched our room, so that's when we found his, oh, okay. uh, All right. his uh, paraphernalia and some little bit of marijuana. OK. All right, well, thanks, man. I okay. appreciate it. All right, sir. I am talking to you. Fish one, more. one more time. It's not going to be good. Oh, Let's take him out and put him over here. We're obviously going to have to separate him. Come on out here, Dustin. Dustin, come on. 
Step out into that room. Hold on, hold on. Slow down. Slow down. The other gentleman had been disruptive. He already calmed down considerably. I'm going to take the handcuffs off you. Okay, you promise to settle down. Okay, and relax. Thank you. Ah, uh, yeah. Stay there until the door closes. Okay, you okay, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But it's not going to happen unless you calm down. Hands with me like I was a criminal. All right, when these cuffs come off, they're going to go up on the wall, OK? Yes, sir. Nowhere else. My hands will go to yes. my side if there's nowhere else. Oh, oh, sorry. There you go. You, I saw you said when the cuffs went off, they'd go up to the wall. Yep. Which is what you said. You didn't now, say anything about my hands. William, listen. You understand that your charges are pretty much misdemeanor charges. You're going to be getting an OR, released on your own reconnaissance. Yeah, I probably should have gotten a ticket and allowed to go to the stratosphere, and I appreciate that. Yes, okay. sir. Let's try to get you out of the cell in a little bit more. This is stage two of your cool-down period, OK? If you start sure, acting... I am so, I am so cool. You, William, you guys arrested me for being here's cool. Here's the thing, William. You don't let people finish talking when I'm trying to talk to you. No, again, via con Dios, I am him. He is I. I already know what you're going to say. Thank you for the time. I you almost it. had it to the ticket. I was just going to let you go outside and make some phone calls. But you need to cool No, I want to go back to the house where they were doing drugs, and you guys arrested me from there when that guy assaulted me, and that's what's not fair. I told I'm you, come back and check I on told you, you on the 911 okay? call right. that I had a half Stay a gram of marijuana closes. on me. I told the 911 call. Stay there. Okay. Well, we could have the psych talk to him, see how he works out. Hopefully, we can get him out here, so. OK, thanks, sir. Good job, guys. So Dustin was brought in earlier today for possession of a dangerous weapon. He was acting up, but let's see how he's doing now. Sit down for us. Sit down. Sure. Sit down, sit down. You OK? Oh, what's going on, man? Well, I got to make sure you're stable enough to let you out with everybody else. And the way you're acting right now, very emotional. I just Are don't you understand why, why the TV was shut off and then the phone. Because you're in a side cell. A side cell, just like that cell <laughs> over there, OK? And I was watching a freaking drama. The way you're acting, you can't come out with everybody else, OK? You want anything? Uh, I got high, like, a couple days ago, Are yeah. Is it still affecting you like this? No, I am the phone and the contact of my family. Do you get high all the time? No, I do not. No? No. See, you just calm down for a second. You're going up and down. All right, as soon as you cool down, We'll give you the phone and give you everything else you're supposed to get, OK? Stay there. Don't move to the door closed. He's still acting a little bit out of control. He might be uh, under the influence of some things. So these guys don't understand. They came in here on simple charges, and they're just uh, delaying their process. So hopefully their process will get through. Yeah, we'll see. Outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my kids. I don't wanna be alone. I got